everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Evangelette and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful and elegant DIY belly dance candle tray. Sometimes we don't always have the extra money to spend on belly dance props, but you're in luck because this costs under $15 and takes hardly any time at all to make. Candle trays can be added to any belly dance performance or even be used just as a photo prop. With that being said, the list of supplies is very short, so let's go ahead and get right into it. You can use a metal or tray of your choice. I have used also a plate charger that I found at a dollar store, which was like a hard plastic or acrylic. But this one I got on clearance for under $6 at Target, which I thought was a pretty awesome deal. As you can see, I'm just removing any type of stickers or anything that I'm finding um, on the front or back side of the tray. Mine came with some little uh, rubber stoppers on the bottom. The next thing I'm gonna do is wipe down the entire tray with some alcohol or just soap and water just to remove any type of dirt or oil that might be on the tray. As you can see, my tray has a pattern which is very pretty, but I wanted to go with more of a neutral color, um, which was the gold and silver. I wanna take a moment and explain the type of paint that I'm using here. I'm just using a water-based acrylic paint something that's not going to be flammable such as like an oil based paint this one specifically i got at walmart for like 50 cents so um, you can use whatever you have at your house or if your tray doesn't come with a pattern on it and you like it just the way it is then that's even better so i'm just using a hair dryer to kind of speed up the drying process between each layer you can continue to build up layers of acrylic paint but I wanted to go ahead and just use a spray paint that I had on hand. Now I was very apprehensive about using this at first just because it is a highly flammable substance, but just be very cautious when you do this. Definitely do this outside. As long as you let the spray paint completely dry, you shouldn't have any problems. You will see that later I use fire directly onto the dried spray paint. There's nothing that happens. So what I did was actually apply one layer of the solid gold spray paint and then I actually added a, another spray paint that I had at my house on hand um, which was a gold glitter which I thought was a really nice accent. Next you're going to want to unpackage your candles. Mine are from Walmart and they were actually very very inexpensive. The three pack was under $3. The small candles, the two small candles were 50 cents each. And then the other two candles, the long ones are where they were like 70 cents a piece. And then now you're gonna wanna start arranging your candles how you want them. When you're placing your candles, you wanna make sure that you're stopping and you're checking the overall balance of the candle tray. Whether that be to balance it on your hand, make sure that the heaviest part of the candle tray is towards the center, and then balance the other candles um, surrounding that in an even manner. You can also stop and place the candle tray on your head as well. You're going to begin by melting the bottom of your candles with your lighter and allowing the wax on the bottom to become drippy. And then that's gonna be the glue that holds your candles to the tray. If you need to arrange or adjust anything, all you have to do is pull the candle off and it shouldn't ruin the paint underneath. As you can see, this candle that I had placed down um, was not in the right place. I thought it was a little lopsided, so I removed it. As you can see, it didn't remove any of my paint or anything. That's actually just melted wax on there. So you can just easily pull the candle off if you place it in the wrong place or you don't like it, you can just take it off and it shouldn't remove your paint underneath. You're going to want to go ahead and light each candle as you place it and um, adjust the wick as you can see I just did there. I just wanted to make sure that it was melting evenly. So you're going to want to let all of your candles kind of have time to melt down and that's why I'm lighting each one of them as I go. You're just gonna go ahead and take your lighter. I highly recommend not using matches for this. Something that has kind of like a long extension to it 
um, or if you can make a small lighter work for you, that's awesome. I just find that the longer lighters tend to be easier for this specific project. After you're happy with the way that your candles look, go ahead and take an extra candle and start to melt and drip the wax over the existing candles. And this will help to create the appearance that your candle tray has had a long life and it's been worn in. I've inserted a few photos here of another candle tray that I created for a holiday performance. All of the supplies I got at the dollar store, and this one was actually under $10. I used a plate charger. I used candle holders that came in a four pack that were for a dollar, and the small candles that I inserted inside the candle holders were also a four pack for a dollar. And I also added a small piece of greenery that I already had from a flower centerpiece that I received. If you do plan to use candle holders on top of your tray, I would recommend using a heavy duty glue, something other than hot glue because I have tried hot glue and it didn't really work out as well as I had hoped it would. So I would recommend something like an E6000. As you can see, this is super simple. It's beautiful. You can embellish it or adorn it any way that you want with beads or rhinestones or any type of uh, fringe or trim that you want to place on it. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.